Hey guys, what's up? Chris Coldmud. This is going to be a complete showcase. 16, 112 retro bass, retro bass showcase. A little bit of explanation, which game are uh, on which drive. I will show you the um, uh, all the wheel, all the game wheel, all the feature. Uh, my God, the retro beast for the past four years, I accumulated uh, all the the games. <coughs> we run uh, with uh, I think 100. I have 150. Uh, uh, how do I say that? 150 emulator running for all those systems. So I have 150 emulator up to date, optimized. Uh, just let me you know after four years, we have a discard and if a game doesn't work, uh, usually is report and I fix it. Okay, if it's about controller, about uh, resolution, about anything, we fix almost anything. People are free to uh, always report any bug, and usually it's it's fixed for the next uh, month update. By the way, the Retro Beast has a free update. It's very important since, since the beginning to have a free update because it's a huge system, and it's impossible to sell a system like that without having a free update, okay? Because people will be uh, stuck. Uh, people will be stuck, you know, with the, the bug and the not working. So, RetroBase will be, uh, uh, will always have a free update uh, in the future, even if it works great, because for some reason, some game may break after an update, after a, a emulator update and stuff like that. You can buy the Retro Beast, the 16 terabyte up to 112, and never update it. If you happy with the result, the game you, you want to play works, you can say why I should update it, right? But I had feature, I had new game. Talking about new game, uh, the update, when I'm talking about update, it's update, uh, the update I always update the D drive, the master drive. The master drive is the most important drive because it's running on the background. He has all the application and art and emulator. So the D is very important. So the D is updated every month. After that, the new S drive that it's available for Patreon now, it's updated every month. But you need to be Patreon only to get the update on the S drive. It's a Patreon drive. At the end of the year, 2024, it's gonna be available for free user when it's gonna reach 90% full. And you can buy the, the S drive. And after that, uh, you're gonna have the free update. So Patreon, it's not a must. You can buy the Retro Beats. You will get your free update every month for free. If you want to support the Retro Bees, you can be, uh, there is for three tier, you can be, uh, and you can be Patreon. But this video is about the game and the Retro Bees. So, uh, I check out my Xbox. Uh, the Retro Bees can be played with any X input device. Mean, you can hook four Xbox, eight Xbox, it's gonna work on any game. You can hook, uh, I put a camera, but you can hook uh, your arcade board, okay? If you have an arcade, as long as you have X input, it will work, all right? X input, uh, an example, there is the Fatco Tech that uses X input that is incredible, and it has so many features. Feature, but I suggest if you have a cab and retro beats, buy the Fatco uh, Take uh, PCB for your button, and he has the turbo, he has the, so many features. It's unbelievable, that's the best. After you can buy the uh, Brooks, uh, Brooks Fighter, that's good, it's, it's input. Uh, you can turn uh, M-Track, 
Amtrak, uh, not Amtrak, uh, Ultimark uh, Ultimate uh, board. You can switch to X and put uh, XRK. X, it, it is X and put the tank uh, stick. So any X and put device will work on any system, right? So I'm using an Xbox. You can play MAME, Switch, PSG, and so on. Uh, the Retro Beast is really, really, really big. Like I said, uh, every system is complete. So that's why I do not provide any game list for a Super NES or a PS3 or whatever the system. The only system I provide a list, uh, it's the PC game because it's impossible to have a complete PC game list. So my PC game are mostly arcade, action, modern game, old retro game, and I have a list for the Switch. But the Switch, I, don't, I do not need a, a list because I have 7,000 Switch all around the, those drives. It's really complete. I have all the updates for the Switch. I have all the DLC installed for the Switch. It's very unique, nobody has that. So when you boot a Switch, you, have the, you should have the latest version of the game, the last, the latest DLC, the latest uh, update. But for all other systems, they are complete. The game list is linked on my site uh, and the Discord that you can join. Okay? If you want to see which drive, uh, the system per drive. But mostly I'm going to explain. If I go to the, la the latest one, the S drive is the latest drive. He has uh, all the new PC game, all the new Switch, uh, new light gun PC game, uh, and that's it. Okay. The, the other one before is the R drive. R drive has a ton of PC game, a ton of Switch, and all the uh, light gun PC game. After that is the Q drive. Q drive is only Switch game. Okay. After that is the P drive, is only PC game. After that is the O drive. O drive is very special. Um, o drive has the PS2 game. It's not on the drive, so PS2 is on O, and I think it's box original, and the rest is all uh, M4, home blue, uh, entertainment, entertainment, home blue, uh, and modern uh, game, okay? Uh, act uh, home blue game. After that, the E drive. It's all about PS3 game, Xbox 360 game, uh, the arcade, uh, Nesica, Tetos, Nitex 1, 2, 3, all the Nesica 1 and 3, and so on, all in the E drive. And I think the uh, Big Fish or Gog. Anyway, just click on the link on my site and. Uh, and this card, you will see exactly the uh, game list for uh, drive. Okay. So I tried to make this video. By the way, this video is going to be a long, short video because I used to do uh, a few years ago a 15 hours showcase, scrolling every single wheel, enter it, showing uh, a few games on each wheel, booting games and stuff like that. It took me around 15 hours to go around the beast. And in 2024, maybe I need 20 hours, but to be honest, I'm not gonna do a 20 hours showcase video. So it's gonna be a, a short showcase, uh, what the beast looked like in 2024, the 112 uh, terabyte. So to start, we have the main. The first main is uh, the 3600 main game, okay? With all the bezel uh, artifact, you have 36. Um, 
So let's boot any game just to show you all the the bezel. What's that? I, can't remember. I don't remember. There is so many main games. So the main game it's the most complete collection you can find on any build. Oh, our type is popular, so let's boot one. So the main how it works, sorry, you, maybe you have a black screen uh, for the recording. Yeah, see? You have the special, be almost a special bezel for every game. Uh, the most popular game has, for sure, a special bezel. Talking about bezel, on the Retro Bees, I think I have four or five pack of bezel. You can change the bezel pack, the look of the bezel. Okay. Uh, also, you can change the CRT effect in the uh, D drive with key setting. You have all those uh, links. You can change the screen effect. Also, you can change to uh, full screen. That's new. You can uh, change the bezel. And now, see, I'm using the Xbox, the coin, the start, and you play the game. Simple as that. And every single game on the Retro Beast, every single system, you can quit with those combo buttons, the back and start. Okay? Simple as that. And most of the system, sorry, the, the recording, I think. Okay. You can quit and also you can uh, save in game. So let's boot another game. You can save and load. Most system has a F5 and F8 for uh, keyboard input for uh, save. And those buttons are mapped on the joystick. When you press uh, both joystick, one will save, one will load, okay? Most system. Yeah, let's boot again. Again. So if I want to save, and I want to load. See? So this one did save. When I press, it kind of reset. Also, there is another feature, is the select. Uh, everything is explained on my Discord, on the control setting, but if you press the back plus the X, See, it will save, and after you can uh, load, all right? And you can quit. That's the, the basic. So if you read the, the controller setting on the Discord, there is a ton of feature. Uh, uh, you can take a screenshot, take a video. Uh, there is other feature. Very, very complex, uh, complete rampage. So MIME is a big, 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 big collection with unique bezel. All right. Yeah, I think my recording device, my uh, OBS, when I'm putting a game, doesn't like it. So after that, you have the MIME. After you have the MIME, that arcade classic is the category. If you want to play four player, uh, and so on. There's a ton of categories, platform, shooter, and so on. Trackball, if you have a trackball. Trackball works, spinner works, any trackball and spinner will work. Uh, that's a ton of categories. Okay, this is all for the main. All right. Let's jump on one category, Naimi uh, Nari. Uh, nine, uh, all right. So this is all about my. After a very cool category, it's arcade board, okay? If you're an arcade fan, you're gonna be served. The one on top before I miss it, that's the E drive, okay? That's the game, I'm gonna boot it. Now I'm booting the Tet Teto Typex, Nexica, and stuff like that from the uh, E-Drive, okay? It's an arcade uh, simulate uh, launcher, and you, uh, if you scroll with, uh, I think, the RB and LT, it will scroll from uh, Ring Edge, 
Nessica Live 2, Nessica, and so on. Okay. So this is on the E drive. So this is all about arcade Tekken 7 and so on. Very, very cool and unique. I'm, I think I'm the only one having this feature. Um, <coughs> Where's my mouse? Yeah, some special launcher with close retro bees because it's another launcher, so. So there is no confusion. Let's go back to arcade bar. All right, so Type Extra, very complete. Uh, Teto Type X and Nesca. After you have the Action Max, AAE, American Laser, uh, all HD, all the Atom is Wave, just an example. I'm going to show you. Some will as a unique uh, logo. All games should have video preview also. Oh, by the way, now I'm showing you, that's a team. I have different team. I think I have uh, four or five team. You can change the layout of the retro beasts, okay? You can uh, try all of them and you choose your favorite one. This one is the Hyperspin Retro Beast style with all the logo going on the right side up and down. I really like it because you have a full video uh, preview. All right, so let's continue. At Tumi Swave, you have a Capcom 1, 2, 3. See another special Capcom, all the Daphne. Fatcade, uh, it's arcade game, but you can play online with friends. There is an application, Fatcade, uh, for score and play online, if you want. Final Burn, HB Main. Okay, Sega Model 2, complete. All game works, amazing. After you have the Sega Model 2, but for multiplayer, it's gonna create a split screen if you want to play uh, with two controller. It's gonna run two games uh, on split screen. Very special, you need to set your uh, resolution and after you boot two player, three player, and four player for around five, uh, four games. Very unique and special to the Ds. Sega Model 3, a ton of people like me, Sega Model 3. So let's boot any game. Uh, it's running HD. Sega Model 2 and 3 run HD, not full screen. I did remove the full screen. It's going to be, uh, it's possible the some emulator will freak out with the recording device I have. Because I, no, okay, it's fine. Some game are full screen and some will be uh, four by three with a bezel. Just depend on the game. So that's Sega Model 3. I'm not gonna boot game from every system, but I'm gonna boot a few from popular system. Yeah, those arcade games sometimes they do the checkup that we don't need on the the PC, but that's the way. Complete. So that's Sega Model 2, uh, La Machine. So let's quit it. Oh, it's not the proper... Uh... Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. After we have um, Naomi, Naomi 2. And people really like Techno Pirate, and I'm very proud because we work hard on the Techno Pirate. Uh, Sometimes we work every day. Techno Pirate has so many uh, new fix and update. Uh, Sometimes it's hard to keep track, but uh, Techno Pirate, it's complete. We have all the game that works and more. And what we did is uh, Techno Pirate with the uh, controller. So we need to play all those Techno Pirates with the Xbox. Okay, there is 299. Okay, and every time there is a new game, it's gonna be on the free update. And there's a ton of free game every month. It's amazing. Okay. 
I keep all the emulator and Technoparrot up to date all the time. Yes. If there is a fix, something to fix in the, the, the game or the emulator, we provide it. A ton, a ton of game for the Technoparrot. It's amazing. So uh, 300 games, Technoparrot and more than complete. Uh, Technoparrot steering wheel, that's new. I just uh, update it. You can play with the uh, steering wheel. I'm using a G20 Xbox. Uh, it's all mapped for a G20. If you want to use a G29 or another wheel, what I did is you boot the Techno Pirate and you remap your pedal brake uh, steering wheel for the game you want to play, and it's gonna work if, it, if you don't have a G20. Okay, even if you have a G20 and the mapping is wrong, you can remap all the button you want for the Techno Pirate. So you, yeah, all the driving game from the Techno Pirate. Some are really, really cool, all optimized and working. And after we have the uh, Techno Pirate for light gun, real light gun, the gun for AR, retro shooter, uh, you can play from this wheel. Okay. All the aliens. By the way, Patreon. There you need uh, Patreon. Techno Pirate, you need to be Patreon. Some game you will have a pop up error that the number code is not properly set. Mean you need to go on Patreon. Techno Pirate. You need to buy the five bucks uh, per month. <coughs> After they're gonna give you a key. You copy the key on the tech emulator. And all the Techno Pirate I have will be unlocked for the Patreon game. Not my fault, that's the way the emulator works. Most games will work, but some uh, request a Patreon key. So this is the light gun uh, wheel for just the Techno Pirate. All the Singe uh, recently uh, update them, they are HD version. Okay. So this is a new updated version of the Singe 2. Singe 2 is a mix of uh, American Laser and Daphne and the other one. Uh, yeah, so uh, Laser Disc game. And most of them are HD, running on the latest emulator. Uh, Three Force is re really special, four game. This is the arcade version of F-Zero, Mario Kart, Mario Kart 2, Virtual Tennis 3, uh, Striker, and 4. Very special. Zinc, very cool. He has his own emulator. And after, it's just collection uh, per uh, board company. Okay? Again, this is all the name, but per uh, company name. Okay, the board company, Konami, Nemesis, and so on. So if you like a, a speci specific company, Nemco, all the Nemco, there's a ton of Nemco, all right? And Teto, and Midway, all right. So this is a, a big wheel for arcade lover. After, there is a, I created an arcade PC game long time ago. I want to add more wheel in it, but it's, it's a mix of a PC game, but arcade style, okay? So everything is arcade, but uh, PC, PC game version of the some arcade game. So you have the Atari Classic, you click on it, see the Atari 50 and so on. Uh, Batman Collection, PC game. Call of Duty, PC game. Doom, if you're a fan of Doom, look at that. There is 55 uh, Doom version, uh, homemade, whatever. Like, oh, there, there is Quake and Unreal. So when I say Retro Beast, it's really complete and more than complete. That's an example. Uh, PC game arcade. This is some choice we choose from the PC game, but arcade style. Big Fish, big collection. Uh, I know it's not complete. The big fish is not really complete. Uh, they have more. I should work on added, adding, add. I'm gonna add more uh, big fish, big fish uh, game. <laughs> and GOG also, it's not uh, complete. I don't have a list of the GOG. I don't have a list of the big fish. 
but because it it used to be complete but i need to add more uh, big fish and god game eventually uh, see a bunch of collection flash flash game gog see gog there's a ton of game that's the only wheel on all the retro bees the gog i know some doesn't work okay i need to work on it i know some because they are so old they used to work but in 2024 on windows 11 all the update some game will break for some reason some works some doesn't work i know for a fact so i need to rework the gog game and adding big fish so uh, i'm honest when but mostly that's the only uh, two system i need to upgrade gog and uh, uh, big fish so let's continue pc game uh, lucas art all the monkey island i know people like monkey island complete uh, yeah. Retro wave game, AD overdrive game. If you like retro racing, that's cool. Popcat, racer, RPG, RPG, run and gun, all the shmup PC game. There's a ton of shmup. People like shmup. Taken seven. I, I should remove it in 2024 and put uh, the new Taken. Uh, uh, Unity, all the old uh, PC game uh, Unity that you're gonna remember. Uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 because it's a classic. Another collection special. There's a ton of surprise on the Beast. After we have the Beast collection, uh, the best game of 2022. I should have the best game of 2023. We didn't do it. So that's a special connection, twin stick, boxing, uh, dance dance revolution collection, Disney fighter, uh, e green hero, some horror collection. Uh, yeah, a ton. Light gun, okay, people are confused. There is a Xbox, that light gun game that you can play with Xbox, not a real light gun. Marvel, manga. Another surprise collection. If you like music, uh, party game. Another uh, Mario party game with Just Dance and so on. So that's when you do a party, that's the collection you should boot. Uh, with game, another RPG one, special. There's a ton of special collection. Reboot the same wheel is gonna. It's just because the the drive that I've gained for this wheel, the drive is slipping, and it wake it up slowly. So if you jump back to the wheel, see, or any wheel now is gonna. Oh, I'm missing one logo. Uh, Street Fighter. Oh, vertical up. There's a ton of surprise and special collection that no one, no one have. Uh, console, the most popular, uh, beside main, console is the most popular collection. I'm not gonna go on each one. You have all the 3DO, all the Atari, Jaguar, just to show you new Coleco. Okay, let's put a Dreamcast, it's popular. Oh, by the way, you can favorite your game. So, um, let's say I want to favorite Bang. I press X, and if you press Y, see, Bang come, become my favorite game. All right, you press Y again, you come back. Let's uh, put uh, 102. I press Y. So you can create your uh, per wheel. This is going per wheel. You can create your best uh, game. Okay. Press X. Uh, 
press Y, I come back to the wheel. Uh, some popular system are already create the most popular game that people play. There is already a favorite game, like the Switch and stuff like that. Uh, let's boot uh, Crazy Taxi 2. Full screen, everything is optimized. If you have a low hand PC, I have a low uh, spec you can set for uh, the most demand emulator. And if you have a high hand PC, a good PC, you can, I have a high setting. So what it's gonna do for all the Dreamcast, uh, Wii, PS3, uh, the most popular big modern system, it will set the emulator for uh, high spec, mean the resolution is gonna be higher, the quality is gonna be higher. And if you have a potato PC, you put it at low end. So you're going to be able to run, let's say, a PS3 game and Xbox 360. OK. Oh, I press. There is a shortcut to go in fast. Yeah, I need to remove it. Right. Let's go make some crazy money. Go ahead and pick All right, let's get it on. Yeah, when Today you press back, he, he, he goes fast to skip some more cutscenes. How do you want play? Okay, that's me. I never got this game to... That's the... Wait a second. Oh! You need to press B. Okay. Yeah, I'm not good at this game. Okay, let's quit it anyway. That's all the Dreamcast. When you see uh, some system, I try to merge all the CD, CD1, 2, 3, 4. It works on PS1 and some other system, but Dreamcast, I was not able to merge them in one. So you need to press uh, just one and after this two. It's very rare because uh, all the system uh, game that has multiple discs, uh, I did merge them in one, all right? But Dreamcast was not possible. There is so many good games on Dreamcast. So it's not duplicate game, it's the multi-disc version, see? It's just one and two. Yeah, Dreamcast, um, a big popular system. Atomi Swave, very popular. Oh, sorry. Not Atomi Swave. That's the, uh, one year ago, the... So what what they did is they made the Atomy Stray uh, running on Dreamcast. Video, so those are special. So this is Atomy Stray running on Dreamcast. Okay, it's a special wheel. GameCube, really popular. So let's pick, let's see if I have favorite. Yeah, I have a favorite. No, there is no favorite for the GameCube. Let's pick a game. After you can jump uh, letters to letters from uh, right and left on the keyboard. Oh, let's boot Tomb Raider. Or Blood Almond. Oh, Spyro. Spyro? Zelda. Oh, there is a Zelda. Okay, let's boot uh, Zelda. <coughs> it's not finished, guy. I need to go fast because there is so many stuff to show. See how fast the game boots? It's amazing. Emulator or oh, that's a collection of Zelda in one cartridge. Okay, all right, and I'm gonna quit. See, I press the two and I go back to the ritual beast very fast. I think 99% of the game you can uh, start them very fast and quit very fast. So, GameCube complete 600 games. All the Genesis, some special uh, Genesis collection. Uh, that's the Mega uh, SD. Another special Sega. All the Neo Geo that they create. Uh, Nintendo 64 DD that was never released. Another special wheel. Nintendo 64, 305. Everybody like the Nintendo 64. Let's put a game, a random one. Oh, Jim. Nintendo 64, it's always difficult to run all the game, but uh, the emulator I choose now, it's pretty much uh, work on every game. 
Is this my mom? So that's a Nintendo 64. Let's quit it. So all the Nintendo 64 completes at the uh, Nintendo 64 but HD version. All right. Take, it took a ton of space because uh, there is a HD pack for uh, 69. Uh, 69 game. Let's boot uh, Mario Kart. I know everybody play Mario Kart. So it's the original game but uh, HD. So to run it, I uh, run it on a 4x3 with bezel. Yeah, everything is upscale. Welcome to Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Usually the HD doesn't appear on the menu. A little bit, but it's more in-game. Yeah, look at that. I was pressing the uh, R2. So that's the HD version. Let's quit it. Bang! In the system. Alright. Let's continue. Nintendo, all the Nintendo, Nintendo Classic. New one. CD uh, arcade version. UA was a, a fail, but I have it. <laughs> it's an Android PC game. Uh, so PC game, uh, PC engine, PC CD, PC FX. CD was hard to run. That's a hard uh, emulator to run. Okay, Dock Station and PlayStation. Dock Station is the high definition. If you want to play uh, the game HD, upscale 4K, right? You boot Dock Station. If you want to play as the original, you boot PlayStation 1. Oh, let's boot. Uh, yeah, W is popular. What's that? Yeah, let's boot a W. Oh, Smack. I think it's popular. Smack 2. Yeah, so that's the uh, HD version running on Duck Station. You can run game up to a uh, 4K. And upscale all the, the graphic. So, full screen. The Sony sound starting. Exactly like the original. Yeah. Come on. There's always loading huh? on, the, on the old game. Uh, if you save your uh, save state, you can load your latest save state. So you will Ladies and gentlemen, this is proof. Anything can happen in the world of wrestling Come on, show me the graphic. I want to show the uh, 4K. Oh, that's the, uh, yeah. It doesn't, oh my God, look at that. Even the menu is crispy clear. Yeah, upscale doesn't change the video or cutscene, just the in-game. Uh, but you will see everything is crisp. Crisp and clear. 4K. Oh, come on. Yeah, whatever. Start anything. I just want to see the graphic. Oh, the rock. And Undertaker. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Why? Oh, my God. Yeah, I just want to show you the in-game. I just took a random game, but I know all of them are upscale. So uh, again, a video. Are they gonna boot the the damn uh, game? Oh my god! Loading, loading, loading. Cutscene, cutscene, loading, cutscene, loading. Come on. Okay, now it's loading for real. So oh, that's the HD version of WWF uh, Smackdown. Right? 
pretty cool. So I quit it in two seconds. And if you want to play the same game as the original graphic, you boot this one. Uh, PS2, really popular. It's on the old drive. So I have a... Ah, oh, see, I have a... A favorite uh, game. PS2 is, it became really amazing. I did add the, the BIOS, the booting uh, sound of the PS2. I find it really cool. High definition, I upscale it. PS2 is upscale. And it's running really good. PS1, PS2 is running really good. All systems running really good. PS3, just uh, to be fair, the only modern, uh, the last gen console, uh, it's a little bit hard to run all game. It's the Xbox 360, but I have a pretty damn good setup. Okay, everything is optimized, but uh, I'm talking about compatibility. People, what don't understand is the compatibility of the emulator. Even if I work hard to make all game works perfectly, Raven. the emulator sometimes is not compatible with one game. The game doesn't Raven. run well, it's not my fault. So, if you have a problem with one game, I have a compatibility link on this card for each system. Let's say you boot, uh, I don't know, one game on the Xbox and you run like crap. Not my fault, if you check the compatibility on the uh, Xe Xenia emulator, it will say, oh, this game doesn't boot, or this game uh, cannot be played in game, and stuff like that. Get ready for so, the next I have no power of that. But most emulators, they run all the game, most popular game, I cannot uh, allow you to uh, very well. So look at that, PS2 upscale, look at the graphic. Round one. Fight. Six. Six. Yeah, I work hard on PS2. But now I'm very satisfied with the, uh, the result. Uh, the grab, that's the grab, right? No, that should be the grab. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. PS2 running, and I quit it in two seconds. So PS2 complete, PS3 complete. I think I'm missing uh, 10 or 20 games. Rare Japanese version, whatever. Uh, some sport. I'm missing a few sport, but mostly it's the North American. By the way, all my system, when I say complete, it's the North American uh, version. All the import are on the O drive. Uh, Japanese version or Europe version of those systems are on the O drive, but the D drive and all, all the Retro Bs is the North uh, USC Canada uh, version. Okay? So this is all the PS3, all the Batman, Bioshock, and so on. Do I have a favorite? Oh, then Crisis 4, Street Fighter 5, Skate 2. Oh, let's boot uh, Skate 2. Usually the first time you boot the PS3 take a long time. It's creating a cache. The first time, it can take two minutes, sometimes it can take 10 minutes, five minutes. But the second time you're gonna boot it, it's gonna boot in a second. It's just, you need to create a, a cache structure. What it does exactly is creating a cache, but is uh, scanning your PC hardware, and is gonna set the game for your hardware. So for so every month I need to delete the cache on my side. So because you need to create your own cache for your own PC. You will uh, if I send you my cache for the PS3, it will be uh, you will uh, it will be confusing. Yeah. So first time PS3 is always a little bit long, and it sometimes can be longer because you remember on the PS3 it used to. Um, on the real PS3 console, when you put a disk, it says uh, we need to copy some data in the disk internally, and that can be long. I have no power on that. That's the process of the PS3 and the emulator. But I guarantee the second time, like this game, the second time I boot it, 
He booted in three seconds. No worry. Some games are faster than other. Some games are longer than other. Big game usually it's longer. Yeah. So oh no, see? So no, I'm not gonna play this game. He's gonna no, forget it. He's gonna install, he's gonna take forever. So forget it. Sorry. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to PSN because that's the PS3, that's the same emulator. So this is all the PSN, the store again. I'm gonna boot after burner. I know he boots faster. He doesn't have a game that. Uh, this game look, look amazing. I really like it. Yeah, it takes like, see? And the next time I'm gonna boot is gonna boot uh, in almost in one second. So PS3, graphics, sound, control, it's amazing. <coughs> What's happening? Okay. Select aircraft. Strike eagle. This game is available on Techno Pirate also. Yeah, look at that. I'm not gonna play a long time, I want to go through all the, the wheeling system. I really like this game. Damn, it looks good. It feels good. The control, it's amazing. What's the turnaround again? Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need to. Woo! Oh my god. Yeah, this game. What a blast. See? Boot fast, quick fast. So this is all the PSN. Let's go continue. PSN Mini. Okay, people get confused. All my PS4, PS5, uh, Xbox Series X, uh, Xbox uh, One. There is no emulator, but there is emulator for PS4, but forget it, it's gonna be available in two years. There is no uh, such a emulator, so for fun, and I'm going to explain why. All those PS4 games, PS5 and Xbox Series X are PC Smart game plan. version. That's the same game but the PC version. And that. why I did yeah. create it for fun. And also, it's almost identical. And also like the PS5, I have a special launcher. I have all the PC version of the most popular PS5 game, okay? It's not emulated. And if you press uh, PS5 Play Night, it's a special launcher that looks exactly like the PS5 inside the wheel. So that's why I created it. It's really cool. See? I have the PS5 launcher with all the PC version of the PS5 game, okay? It looks exactly like the PS5. Really, really cool. I have this launcher also for the Xbox Series uh, S and for the Switch. Yeah, it closed the Retro Beast, this one, because it's a special launcher. So I have a launcher, uh, a Switch launcher for the Switch and a Xbox Series X launcher for the Xbox, okay? So PS5, PS4, Xbox uh, One, Xbox uh, One Series X are not emulated. They are the PC version. Just to be clear. So, see, this one has another launcher. I'm not gonna click it. And Xbox uh, One X, PC version of the Xbox One X. Xbox Live is true. So. Xbox Live is the store uh, game for the Xbox 360. Right? I mean, when the, all the, the game works great now for the Xbox 360, it's just the compatibility uh, can be better. I think it's, I need to check, but I think it's 60 or 70% uh, uh, the, uh, the game run great. 
So they need to fix like 30 person, but I need to check the, maybe the, so that's the Xbox uh, 360. Let's quit it. See? All the most popular system, oh, I didn't quit properly. Wait a second. Okay, I did add uh, for a system like the Xbox, there is a compatibility report. If you have a problem with one game, just check on the, it's gonna send you to the compatibility site. You can verify be, before uh, going to this car, say, hey Chris, the game doesn't boot. Yes, just check the compatibility and the emulator will tell you that the game is not supposed to run well. So you have your answer, all right? Xbox 360, same thing, report. See, all the game. You should have no problem for the most popular one. Let's boot a Batman track. I never boot Batman. I don't remember booting Batman. See, boot fast now. Wow. Yeah, the emulator is really good now compared to two years ago. So that's the Batman. Yeah, I need to check the compatibility because that's the only emulator that uh, I used to say, oh, it needs to be better and stuff like that. But uh, I think now it's not so bad, really good. So that's the console, guys. Uh, computer, I need to explain. Some computer uh, system because they are old and they used to work with a keyboard and mouse. Some of them, what I did, I did add um, a keyboard underneath. So it means you really need a keyboard to play it. Uh, and some works with Xbox and R keyboard. Okay? But then there is so many. Let's start from the beginning. Apple II. There is a ton, a ton, a ton of computer. And I, uh, I think I have 50 or 80 more. Uh, I don't know, but uh, 50 or 60 more computer to add in the future. Amiga is really popular, it works really well, it works with uh, Xbox. Oh, by the way, the first wheel, if you don't know, if you're not a computer and you don't know what to play, just go on the Computer Classic. This is uh, all the best game merged together from the most popular, okay? Amiga is popular. Amstrad is popular, Apple II, I guess so. Uh, yeah, but I'm missing a ton of uh, computer. But the most uh, popular one, I have it, Commodore 64. Okay, Commodore 64 used to have like uh, 40,000 game or 60, it was too much. Uh, I put like two, uh, 2,000 game, the most popular one, because it doesn't make sense having like a a 60 or 40,000 game, okay? Uh, same thing for uh, ZX Spectrum. I think he has like 20 or 30 or 40 games. It doesn't make sense. So uh, for those systems, I just put the 2,000 best game. FM Town, Macintosh, it was new a few months ago. Odyssey, it's uh, popular. MS-DOS, there's a ton of MS-DOS. MS-DOS is going to boot to uh, Big Box. It's very special and it works with a nice bezel and everything. Uh, also, you can play MS-DOS one joystick, two player joystick or mouse. Okay, you can test it if you're a fan of MS-DOS. MX-6 one and two. See, I'm missing the MS-6R, I think, for some reason. Pico, Shark, St. Clair used to have a ton of game. See now 67. Uh, I need to change the logo also. I don't like the square one. Shark, it's working. Ah, oh, this St. Clair used to have, I used to have, my God. See, not even 2,000 game. It, it didn't make sense. I used to have like 40,000 game. Some ri ridiculous. Some seller, they sell drive, they says, oh, we, 
A small drive like on Amazon, we have 100,000 uh, games. Yeah, but they have uh, 60,000 games just for Commodore and ZX Spectra. So it didn't make sense. A ton, a ton of computer. Our Windows 88 is more popular in the North America. See? Alien. When the PC game begin, a ton of surprise. Okay. If it's from your time, you will like this wheel. All the original uh, PC, Windows 88. I have Windows 3XO. That's it. Older. Uh, ZMix. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of surprise, a bunch of very rare system. And like I said, I need to add 50 more uh, computer games. So, uh, okay, fan made. That's a new wheel. I'm gonna go in very fast. Fan made is all the game that was uh, homemade create. Uh, fan made. So, Resident Evil, uh, special, any special game that was converted, hey, I will Daniel. put it there. Hey, Nick. A special Super Mario Bros. for Christmas. Uh, TMT Arcade HD, that's new. That's new, Ultimate Marvel, that's a new version, just uh, released last month. A special uh, WF Legion for Nintendo 64, was really tough to set up. Uh, Zelda Next Gen running on Unreal and stuff like that. New game, Open Bar, a ton of Doom. Uh, Quake, Solaris, and so on, Body Cam. And you can access the O-Drive, the homebrew, uh, main homebrew uh, ton oh, let's, I'm gonna show you it's gonna take uh, 30 seconds because the drive is sleeping okay now I'm running the homebrew from the old drive. All those games are on the old drive. It's separated from the D drive. So if you don't like having homebrew entertainment or import, you just don't buy the old drive. That's the way I said it, okay? The D drive is pure gaming, mod uh, modern and old, retro, North American game. Uh, no bullshit, no, just game. So if you buy the D drive, 100 person uh, game. So you have uh, main hack, CPC, Amstrad, all the converted merch, uh, version, contract, Donkey Kong, Game Boy. So if you like the modified version of Mario and so on, that's the wheel you need. There's a ton. There's uh, so many games. I don't have even all the logo because it's impossible. This is not the official uh, version. 3D, you can play with VR or whatever. HD Classic, there is so many goodies. Super Mario, there's a ton, a ton. We hack and main hack, all right? So let's quit. So my, this is the new wheel, oh yeah, and there is the Super Mario, see, uh, you, uh, you're driving Mercedes-Benz uh, car, uh, Sensia, yeah. Uh, game manual. Uh, I have a few more to add. I just didn't have time, but there is a ton of manuals. Oh, I didn't remember. I have Apple too. Let's. I just want to click a uh, check. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So um, a ton of manual. That's really cool. Dreamcast. I have more to add. See, if you want to remember when you did buy GoldenEye, because everybody did buy GoldenEye, see? You have all the manual, and you just quit in two seconds. Nintendo DS, how many Nintendo DS manual? Not bad, 289. Look at that. Wow. I know some people, they like this. 
I like this. PS1, PSP. Oh, the PS1, I think, is a CD. Remember, it was a CD uh, demo version. Yeah. Some are uh, CD version, manual, something like that. Oh no, the magazine. I'm talking about the magazine on the old drive. Yeah, it's the CD magazine for the PS1 on the old drive. Oh, I have a special one on Super NES, I think. I don't know why it's in black and white. Not really sure. Uh, Xbox. <laughs> X-Men. Yeah, imagine some people, they take time to take picture of uh, all the manual. All right, so let's get out. Game mode, that's new uh, wheel. Game mode. Okay, game mode, it's kind of fan made, but it's more, uh, how can I explain? It's, a, it's more the emulator, it's more about the emulator modification. And the game, it's it's more than fun made, it's more like a, a mod, official uh, mod. Uh, okay, pre-dog, uh, now you can convert almost any PC game to VR with a fake VR and people say, I, I tested, it works well. I did the, uh, what's the game? Robocop, you know the new Robocop this year? But you can turn it to VR, all right? And it works very well. You just boot it, you point to the PC game and you turn your game. Uh, uh, to VR with your VR, Oculus 3 and stuff like that. Uh, Nintendo, same thing. This is all the um, uh, this is all the Nintendo that works on 3D and VR. I'm gonna let the video run because you will see. See. And on the VR, you can if you have mixed reality or Oculus 3, you can put the you can play Mario right in front of you in your living room. It's amazing. Okay, PC remake. This is the um, PC game remake. This is all the remake I found on the Retro Beast. So that, that's special. The new uh, Tomb Raider, one, two, three, that just released. PC remaster, because remake and remaster is not the same. Remake, the rework from scratch the game and remaster is the original game but remaster uh, HD okay that's the difference so this is all the original game but upscale uh, new version HD whatever name it as you want okay I tried to make the list complete uh, I put Sega Model 2 because it's special that's the you can play uh, four player up to four player Game Boy Remember, you used to, you can be able, you will be, you used to be able to plug two Game Boy Color or two Game Boy and play together, but that's, that's the way. So you, you boot a game, you will have a, a split screen. See, you have two Game Boy. So let's quit it. Same thing for uh, Game Boy, you have two uh, split, you can play uh, co-op. And 3D VR. Oh, I did boot it. No, 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 no. Shut it down. This is the uh, Nintendo 3D version. I'm gonna shut it down. Uh, wait a second. Something's running. What's running? What is running? Can I open Task Manager? No, I should not boot this one. This one, it's a VR uh, modification of... Uh, oh my God. Okay, I need to close. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, it was coming through. Sometimes you need... I'm not patient. I just need to wait a few seconds. The application would close by himself. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we were on the fan main, no, game mode.
Ok, wait a second. Uh, after we have, uh, this is not done, using it's the, uh, games was back in the day. it's an app to add cheat codes and mod to the PC game, I need to work on it. Uh, Warp PX is another uh, has modification the point for PC games to run on VR. Uh, HDR display is something that I'm working on to turn any game to HDR and stuff like that. So this is all the mod version for uh, games. So wait a second. This is the handheld. And yes, Switch is not a console, it's a handheld. <laughs> but it's a console at the same time. So the Switch is on the, these categories. All right, uh, we have the links. Game Pocket, Nintendo, Game Watch, I just had a ton recently, la last month. There is 133 Game & Watch. Game Advance, very popular. Guess what, 1,000 games. A ton. <laughs> uh, let's put a game, any game. Oh, F-Zero. Running on RetroArch with the uh, screen effect, and I quit. All right, Game Boy Color, same thing. Almost 600 games. Uh, Indiana Jones, same thing. But wait, the Game Boy, the layout, you're gonna freak out. It's so realistic, Game Boy to player. Game Boy looks fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna take any game. The green, the green effect on top of the game. Look at that. It looks so real. It looks like a real Xbox. Uh, game Boy. Yeah, I really like it. The original green and stuff like that, so let's quit it. Yeah, sorry for the recording, my OBS freak out when I'm recording game. The, it's the resolution behavior. Uh, this is not happening on the real-time beast. It's happening on my recording device. Oh, why I... Uh, game, ge game Gear, Mega Duck, Neo Geo Pocket, Color, 3DS, really popular. Is running on C Citra. Yeah, the emulator is really great now. But they stopped providing update, but it's still good. So, okay, this one I need to remember. See, there is two screens. Uh, I think you need to press. Ah, uh, if I press on my. Uh, I think it's F10 on the keyboard. Let's try. I think F10. Yeah, F10 you can change the layout. Depend on the game. You can change the layout if you don't need the bottom screen and so on. You can press F10 on the keyboard. All right. Uh, and I need to explain something. There is two emulator. You need to map, not the button, but you need to tell the emulator which controller you're gonna use. Citra and Yuzu. The first time you're gonna buy the uh, Retrobeast, you're gonna plug the Retrobeast, you're gonna play Yuzu, uh, Yuzu for Switch and Citra. Uh, it's explained on my manual, but I'm gonna explain now. I have on the D Wiki shortcut emulator, I have those emulator link. You boot Citra, you boot Yuzu, and you just tell the emulator, use my Xbox, okay? I have video, it's all explained on the Discord how to do it. But uh, for some reason, those two emulator does, he knows you have an Xbox on your PC, but he doesn't set it. You just not need to tell him, 
that's the Xbox I want to use as a player one and player two and three and four. So that's why now I cannot play because I didn't set it. Ah, the emulator is right there. So when you're gonna boot uh, Yuzu or Citra for 3DS or Switch, uh, you click emulation, configuration, control. Ah. Where's the... Uh... Why? On Yuzu, anyway, on Yuzu here, it's gonna say uh, input device. You click on your Xbox. Well, why doesn't show? What's happening? Usually there is a, a drop down for the Xbox. Hotkey. Anyway, I have to check that. It used to be a drop down. Oh, I think you need to remap all the button. Uh, Sorry. Okay, Yuzu is just, you click, you choose your Xbox. Xbox is gonna be uh, Xbox Zero. You click on it, you're done. It takes one second. This one, you need to click uh, each button. Sorry about that. And when you finish, you click OK. And any game uh, will work with your Xbox. Sorry about that, but that's the way the emulator works. Sorry. That's the only two emulator you need to uh, uh, set the Xbox. Uh, Switch and 3DS. Sorry about that, but that's the way it goes. Uh, what's that? Oh, yeah, DS. A really popular game. 2000 game, guys. I'm gonna boot any game. It's running on RetroArch with the bezel, that's why I choose RetroArch. You have the top and down and the pencil and everything. See this one, I press the right joystick key, switch the, there is some shortcut, stuff like that. And what's fun about RetroArch, if you press F1 on your keyboard, you can access the emulator and you can change whatever setting you want, you can save your game and stuff like that, and when you finish. Uh, so a ton of old retro game are running on RetroArch. So you press F1 on your keyboard, or you press uh, the two joystick together, and you can save your progress, save slot, save state, load, uh, and there is video effect if you don't like the bezel, if you want to change a full screen or whatever, yeah, you change it. All right. And the other emulator, some you press F11 and you can access the emulator, uh, those emulators that are not retroarch. Sometimes it's F11. It's all explained on the Discord, on the control uh, section. Okay, let's move on. PSP, very popular, running very good. I can say 100% uh, of those games are running. I'm gonna boot. Uh, I know God of War is the most demand, but uh, there is no problem at all running it. Anyway, let's boot any game. Avatar. The way PSP works is when you're gonna quit it, if you quit from the Xbox, it's gonna shut down. Let's boot the game again. If you press uh, escape, See, you can save your game, you can change uh, some setting if you want. And that's it. You can save and load your game. Also, I think you can use the back uh, save and load from the controller. Now, oh, PSP, it's amazing. It's running all game. PS Vita, it's, uh, it's kind of new. Uh, the problem is uh, I cannot put the game alphabetic, so all the games are randomly showing not alphabetic. So uh, eventually I will work on it. It's the uh, ID, it's, uh, it's list per uh, ID, name ID, so number. <laughs> uh, it works, almost all game works. 
It's a new emulator, PS Vita uh, from last year. So uh, very cool. Super Game Boy, the Switch. Okay, Switch. Uh, total, I have uh, seven thousand games. Two thousand there, and more. Another. Uh, so we are at six six thousand something plus the Japanese version on the old drive. Uh, I count them yeah, recently, it's, I reached 7,000 Switch games. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Ah, oh, uh, I'm gonna explain. All the green logo are the game that are on the S drive. So people know that's the new game I just... All the green are new game. All the pink are old game. And the most popular game do have a logo like this one, okay? Uh, I'm working to have all the official logo, it's very hard. But usually, uh, the game with a regular logo is the most popular one. Like if I see that, I create a list, 24 best, uh, see? Oh, damn, 7,000 games. Yeah, and it's working really good, really, really good. Oh, let's boot any game, doesn't matter. The first time you're gonna boot Yuzu after a PC reboot because there is a ton of DLC and update for all the game. What's gonna happen the first time you boot the Yuzu emulator, it's gonna take a uh, I think it's two minutes, uh, but it's working. It's just rescanning all the DLC and update. The second time you're gonna boot any other game or the same game, it will boot. Uh, so if it's not full screen for some reason, you just click full screen. Uh, yes, like I said, the first boot is gonna be long, but long, it's two minutes. And after it's gonna boot, uh, in a second, right? So Yuzu, there is no problem at all. If you find a game that doesn't work, it's just about the compatibility, but I never find a <coughs> popular game that doesn't work. If the game doesn't work, it, it can be a, a rare Japanese uh, whatever game. No, Yuzu, it's fantastic. And with the story of Yuzu, Oh, the game is running on my... Uh, uh, no, the, the emulator works, it's my recording. He, does, he didn't uh, catch the game for some reason. No, so all the game works amazing. Let's put another one. Yeah, the, my OBS record, recorder they didn't catch the game. Ah, because I changed full screen and stuff like that. Now it's full screen. Yeah, Switch, it's amazing. I really like it. It's, it's one of my favorite emulator. So many games and it's running, uh, it's running great. Ah, oh, yeah, I cannot skip it. That's the beginning of the uh, Zelda. Yeah. So Yuzu, all good. And I'm the only one having all those games and uh, update and DLC. It took me like four years to get that. Unbelievable. Uh, Tiger, Supervision, Wonders One, Wonders One, and Cage and Lynx. All right, let's move on. Launcher room is another special room I create because um, I did have, uh, add over time a bunch of mini launchers, special launcher and uh, it was everywhere on the retro beast and people didn't know that there is some special launcher so i create a wheel and i try to merge all the mini special goodies launcher in one place so this one it's about it can be vr or not vr it's an arcade you enter the arcade and you play a real machine you can play mortal kombat on a real machine 
Uh, you can play a Game Boy that is dropped down on the floor. You can watch a movie. You can play some uh, ball game, uh, like a real arcade. You can play in VR or with your Xbox controller in 2D. Okay. Thank you. Clone Hero. Now it's official, it's complete. It's the most complete Clone Hero. You have the Clone Hero with, uh, I don't remember, I have a video about that, but 4000 DLC. Guitar Hero and Rock Band. We have this one, it's another Clone Hero, it's uh, Shift something. Guitar Hero and Rock Band. And we have Yard, that's a new. You can play, uh, again, you can play Clone Hero, Guitar Hero and Rock Band, but you can play with your friend online. You can play four player, two player or two player. That's new. I have a video dedicated about that. Very amazing. That's the new, uh, a new arcade, very rela realistic. Another arcade you can play in VR. I have to finish uh, and add in games. It's not finished. It's kind of new. I think they released it uh, two, six months ago. Uh, if you like fighting, a fighting a fighter launcher, a street fighter launcher from CoinUp. Emu VR, I need to finish it. It's your uh, room when you were kids. You place your NES, you place your Dreamcast, you place whatever, uh, you can place an arcade. You have your cartridge everywhere around. You put the, you, it's a VR game. You grab your cartridge, you put it on your uh, system. You need to plug it on the wall. You need to plug it on your TV. And you play on the CRT. Uh, you can change the room, your poster. You can change everything. It's amazing if you like VR. Another fighter uh, launcher, another special uh, launcher, Forgotten War, really nice looking uh, arcade launcher. Uh, if you want to play vertical, you need to swap your TV, vertical, okay? When you play it's horizontal, but you need to put your TV uh, vertical, so you can play main game and stuff like that on a vertical TV. That's a pinball with a nice looking uh, launcher. Uh, pinball FX2, pinball, uh, pinball FX3, another special launcher. Uh, Neon, it's based on Naomi. It's a special launcher for Naomi game. Very nice looking. And the Typex, Taito Typex, and Nisika Live that I explained earlier. Uh, the name is Peraz. Peras, Asperas, something. It's a replica of the official uh, Japanese cab. Amazing. Another vertical, but th this one is special because you have the. Uh, if you want to put your TV vertical, you can play uh, NES, Dreamcast, Nintendo DS on a vertical TV. Very cool. Uh, it also has all the main. And the pinball, you can play pinball uh, on the vertical TV, that makes sense. And you have the tree launcher I did talk about earlier, the PS5 launcher, uh, the Nintendo launcher, and the Xbox Series X launcher. Uh, PS3, I used to sell a PC with a real PS3 console that uh, remotely played the game uh, that read the game from the uh, Retro Beast drive, but without emulation. You're running the game on your real PS3. So I keep it, some people use it. So you connect your PS3, your real console PS3 to my Retro Beast via a LAN cable, and the PS3 uh, will recognize my 1000 game. So you can play 1000 PS3 game without emulation straight pipe from the PS3. I have a tutorial uh, how to do it. All right, light gun, that's the, I created that uh, three months ago. That's the most complete light gun setup. I also have the two terabyte, separate standalone if you want. They all share the same game, same setup. If you buy the 16 or the two terabyte, same game, same setup. So I have uh, the old game, I have a uh, 400. 
418 games. PC game, uh, Techno Pirate, uh, all the apps to make it work. Xbox, the Wii, Techno Pirate, Super NES, PS3, PS2. I just upscaled uh, mostly two or three emulators recently, PS2 and uh, Cinch 2, the disc version. Everything run HD, amazing, PS1, NES, MS-DOS, uh, Model 3, Model 2. Uh, I need to fix the Ikaru, but it's not so popular. Genesis, Dreamcast, uh, Atomi Swave, Arcade Gunner, a ton of good games. Tomb Raider, uh, Rabbit, Time Crisis 5, and so on. Uh, the pedal section, light gun for player, two player, one player. Very good setup. Online room, like you read, it's about online because you can play a ton of uh, emulator online. But Yuzu, I think it's tough. It used to be available. Uh, you boot a game, you just go on the emulator and uh, GUI interface, and you choose online room, and you can join uh, random people or your friends. Some are easy to, uh, uh, to use, some are a little bit more complex, but usually it's very simple. Techno Pirate, you can play online with people. Uh, Simu, it's for the, uh, the Wii U. Welcome back to the challenge. Ah, I forgot to show you the Wii U and the Wii on the console. I'm missing some system on the console. I, have to, I need to go back on console. <laughs> Citra, you can play online, but I think it's dead because they just shut down Citra and Yuzu. Uh, so I need to remove them. Play. Dolphin for the GameCube and uh, Wii, you can play online. PS1, Duck Station online. Cody, it's to watch movie and stuff like that if you want. I have no movie, no TV show on my drive. Cody is just a streaming service okay, if you want to watch some stuff. Parsec is the best of the best. I have some video. For a sec, you can share your second controller. If you're alone, let's say you, you start with your beast, you're alone in your house. Welcome you want to play with to the friends? Newest version of Parsec. I connect, let's We're say I'm in Canada. I can connect to your PC look. via Parsec. Connect I plug my, my, my Xbox to my PC with Parsec and I will become your second controller. <coughs> and I will see your gameplay and my gameplay no and we can play together. It takes uh, right. two minutes to set up. And you can play up to four player, eight player, it doesn't matter. You can add, add as many friends you if want. You don't see your uh, RetroArch as a uh, 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 yeah. online feature, PS3. <coughs> Guitar Hero, uh, you <coughs> Yuzu is dead. <coughs> Sorry. So I need to remove it. And yeah. Oh, Plutonium. Uh, you can play uh, Call of Duty online on private server. Almost, uh, I have all the Call of Duty, Call of Duty 1, 2, 3, uh, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, uh, Modern Warfare, name it. There is a private server, Plutonium and X are those of, of two. Uh, you can play Call of Duty on those server. PC game, more than 2,500 PC game. A ton of PC games and good games, all retro game and new game. A ton of PC game. Let's put uh, any game. Ape out. So uh, yeah, a ton of PC game. It doesn't show the number on this wheel. I don't know why, but there is a twenty-five or twenty-six hundred game uh, on the P drive and on the R drive and on the S drive. P drive is full game, R drive has half of PC game and S drive become half of PC game uh, share with the switch. So see, I press my two button and I quit the game, come back to the beats. That's it, that's all. Oh, I close the retro beats. Yeah, he should not. He should come back to the retro beast usually. Yeah, I'm missing. Uh, I just realized uh, I didn't show you all the console. I mi yeah, I miss. How, how did I miss all the. Uh, yeah, I remember talking about Super NES. 
Turbo Graph, I didn't show you. Nintendo 64 tries the arcade version. Uh, Killer Instinct uh, 1 and 2. Very good version. It used to be hard to run uh, Killer Instinct 1 and 2, but now it's, uh, it's perfect. Vectrex. Video computer. Yeah, I didn't show you that. Virtual Boy. Yeah, all the Wii. Okay, the Wii. The Wii game. The Wii. It's impossible to play Wii game with Xbox. It's possible, but it's impossible because you don't have any enough input. It's possible now. I don't remember the game, uh, the name of the controller. Do I have it? Yeah, I think I. Yeah, I don't remember the name. It's on my Discord. If you have an Xbox controller, you do buy this. That I don't remember the name. It's a battery with extra button. What it does, it turn your uh, Xbox controller for the switch. So you have the gyro. When you move your Xbox, it will work like a remote or a, a Joy-Con. It will work as a Joy-Con. So you can, it, it can work on the Wii and also on the switch. So go on my uh, Discord uh, control, uh, I talk about this, it's very cool. You turn your Xbox to uh, uh, Joy-Con and Wii and stuff like that. But anyway, on my Wii I have an icon of the, the Wii mode on the logo because you cannot play with an Xbox. That's it. You need a real Wii mode. Okay? You need a real Wii mode, not a fake from Amazon at five bucks. Okay, and you need the Wii bar, the flash Wii bar. You put it at position five. You just press and you, you pair with the Wii bar, the Mi flash Wii bar. Okay, and it works plug and play. Takes two minutes to set up. You plug the Wii bar, you pair the Wii bar with your remote. And you can play all the Wii like it was meant to be played. Easy like that. Uh, whoa, console, so we it's complete, uh, my god, yeah, a ton of Wii game, I do not have my Wii bar plug, so I cannot show you, but I can just boot a game just for fun, we are working great now, it's optimized, HD is running fast, It's amazing. Yeah, so you need a real remote to play the Wii game, all right? The PC I sell with the setup, I ship with a real remote. So let's quit it, and it works. Uh... A ton of good game on the Wii. What's running? Okay, all good. So, light gun will, uh, that's a, a will that light gun game that you, uh, you need a remote, but light gun games, okay? Doesn't, those, this will doesn't work with light gun. It works with a remote. We were, we you, a big will running on CMU. It's amazing. All the game works. Oh, I, I drop a Mario. Yeah, let's boot uh, Mario Tennis on CMU. Yeah, look how fast the emulator works. Look at that, crisp and clear. So that's the difference when you buy the Retro Beast compared to other systems that you can buy on Amazon or uh, for cheap. You have a great system, RetroBeast, you have all the emulator optimized, it runs fast, and you have the free update. Uh, Xbox, amazing. Xbox is running great now. It used to be difficult, but now, my God. It's a charm. Let's boot uh, Tony Hawk. Oh, there is an update, see? But I'm not gonna do the update. Because it's gonna close the emulator, I'm gonna update it later. Look at that. Amazing. And it's upscale. 
Everything is upscaled, I think, two or four, t four times. So you can replay Hello and stuff like that, and everything is upscaled. It's amazing. It looks great. Because if you play the original, you don't remember, but it doesn't look that great. So I close it. Uh, this is DLC you can install if you want to play a game. You just click on it after. You need to boot the game one time, and you go in DLC like the original Xbox, let's say Doom. You click on it, it will install the Doom DLC. You reboot the Doom and you have your 3 DLC, DLC install. It was one of my ID. And Xbox 360. Okay, I did forget those systems, I'm sure. All right, my God, there is stuff. A PC game, yes, a ton of PC game. And I have the new uh, uh, Tekken 8. Any new game, uh, I have it on my S drive now. So the most popular one, and I try to add some uh, uh, indie game, good indie, indie game and arcade style and stuff like that. Yeah. Horror game, <laughs> RPG. I try to find them all. Uh, yeah, pinball, a good collection. You have a, inside. You have a collection. It's pinball from all the the system. Pinball FX2, Pinball FX3 works great. HD. Like I said, if you want to play them on your vertical TV, you, you need to boot the vertical. Uh, that's a HD version for open ball. Uh, VR. Not a big wheel because VR it's not, it was not so popular. But uh, the most popular game, Darth Vader. Oh, I need the logo for this one. Undead Citadel. So all those games can be played on your VR headset. Skyrim. Yeah, there is a ton of VR game. You just need to uh, install your uh, Oculus application on your PC and you're ready to play those games. So this is all the VR. A uh, new wheel, the driving wheel. I have 157. It's PC game, Techno Pirate, uh, some MAME all merged together for your uh, driving wheel. Uh, Hyper Collection, that's a new one. I, I move all my uh, old collection to the Hyper Collection. It's complete. It's running on Hyper Spin. And it's amazing. I, don't, I do not have a count, but I think uh, there is 100. No, I have 200, 200 collection wheel on the Hyper Spin, plus the collection for the Ritual Beast. So this is, if you want to check, let's say Mega Man, all the Mega Man for all the system I have on the bees, it's complete. You will find them uh, there. Okay? There's a ton. Okay? 200 freaking collection. Video preview and it run really fast. I'm going fast because uh, this video is going to be freaking long. Yeah, that's a new collection because it's uh, more accurate. It's going to find all the games for the type of wheel you're going to choose. Let's go to Resident Evil. So see the window, the window version, or the high version, window version. Village. Now we have the Nintendo uh, DS, 3DS version. Just an example. Game Boy Color, Switch. Yeah, it was very important when I create this uh, new uh, Hyper Collection that is gonna scan Switch and PC game. Okay, and it, it does. Switch, Switch, PC, uh, Switch, Xbox, uh, Sega something, PS1, Dreamcast. Naomi, GameCube, uh, the Wii version, PS2 version, and so on. 
Look at that, the amount of collection. It's insane. What I like about this wheel, I, I let it run because it goes on the attract mode, like he's gonna scroll the wheel automatically. And I like, you know, uh, on the background, having the video running with the sound. I look at that, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I didn't start from A, huh? when uh, I start. Yeah, 200 collections plus around 50 on the other uh, Little Beast collection. See all the Final Fantasy. And if I'm adding a new, let's say, a new Final Fantasy on the PC game, let's say, he's gonna find it automatically. I don't have to create any uh, special reference. Alright. Let's move out. Uh, beast search is gonna. You can search uh, the retro beast now. It works perfectly. If you tap uh, uh, Batman, it's gonna find all the Batman and stuff like that. Uh, I have big box. Oh, I can show you big box. Yeah. Big box has 115 or 25 uh, wheel. It's not complete, but he has the most common uh, system. And why Big Box will never become my main launcher? It's because of this. It takes like forever to boot. And sometimes I find it buggy. Some people say, it's, no, it's not buggy. But sometimes I find some... Um, it, it used to be better now. But it used to be like uh, you were scrolling game and it was missing logo for some reason, hard time to load the wheel. But it's getting better. But Big Box is really great. It has a ton of feature. Uh, not Big Box, but the other one, the Launch Box, uh, has a ton of feature. Very interesting. <laughs> That's why I included it, because it's really, really cool. So I have the same game, same uh, main wheel, just limited. It's almost the best of the best. Arcade is complete. Arcade board, board doesn't have all the wheel. Most of them computer. Let's go to console just for fun. So, yeah, the most popular one. If I go to PS2, See, for some reason I lost the logo and it goes on a special, uh, it's not supposed to show in games like this. Let's go to Super NES. Yeah, see, I have all the logo here, but PS2 for some reason is fucked up, so I need to work on it. Maybe it's my fault, maybe it's Big Box fault. Yeah, so I have the big box for big box lover. I'm not a big fan, but I respect it. It's a great launcher, but for some reason, like see the PS2 was missing for some reason. All right, let's go back to business. Uh, big box, yeah, uh, B search is hyperspin, okay, this is to shut down the, uh, the super retro beast. Ombro I did show you before, it was on the uh, special wheel. Hyperspin favorite, mean, that's the hyperspin with all the wheel I did add, I don't know how many system, it's limited, it's the most popular one. You have the Xbox, the Switch, 3DS. You can boot uh, all the game from the Bigs, but from the Hyperspin uh, launcher. Uh, they share the same game, same art. There is no duplicate game anywhere on the system. Big Box, Hyperspin, Retro Bees. 
they all share the same game system and art. So, like I said, there is no duplicate uh, game. So all the most popular, uh, see, you can do the uh, PC. Oh. I really like the Acro Spin better than Big Box. Big Box and Launch Box are great because they have a ton of options. But Acro Spin is minimized, it runs fast. See, I can click, go in a wheel, go back in a wheel, real time. No problem at all. Favorite. See, there's. That's where you can add your favorite in one wheel. It was a request. People asked to have all their favorite favorite games. So let's say uh, Sega Model 2, this game is the favorite. Uh, no, that's the search. No, you press Y. You press Y on the Xbox, it will be added to the favorite. So any system can be added to the favorite. You can have all your favorite games in one wheel. All system merged together, all right? And this is uh, uh, all game. So I press spin, it's a great system. Some people like it. So that's why I, so launch box. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna boot it. So launch box and big, big box share the same uh, system. I think launch box is when you have a free uh, yeah, by the way, big box is already paid, so you, you have the big box for free because usually you need to pay. So the license is right there. Oh, by the way, we are on the desktop. You can change the wallpaper. Uh, RetroBeast comes with the uh, background wallpaper. You just click on the, uh, it's gonna boot after the installation. And you can choose, I don't know, I didn't count, but there is hundreds of uh, wallpaper you can choose. Oh, there is an update of Lunchbox. Oh, it's nice, it looks the Lunchbox is looking nice. I really like the theme, the theme I installed. It's Lunchbox Neon Deluxe Arcade. And you have all the system and all the goodies and options. Like uh, Dreamcast, see all the logo and stuff. I think you have the preview somewhere. Why there is no preview? Oh, it was not set. Anyway, so that's the launch box. All the basic system, all the arcade, and all the classic console. Very great. It works great. Yeah, this is all the wallpaper. I have four pages of wallpaper. It's amazing. A ton of Spider-Man and stuff like that. Some are moving background. Just click on it and you can have a preview or select it. It's free uh, when you buy the Retro Beast. I really like this one. It's a 360. Uh... All right. Uh, yes. And you have the special launcher also. The mini launcher. You can press uh, let's quit it. You don't need a keyboard. You just need to uh, press start on the Xbox when you are on the desktop and see. I can boot Ritual Beats. And on top you see your four controller plug-in, the battery level and your input mapping. And uh, it comes with the installation. When you do the installation, you will have all those goodies. So launch box, setting, that's my new setting. It's going to open a folder, very simple, very minimized. It was better than the old one. And here you have 1, 2, 8, 19. So mean each one it's a setting. You can change the theme of RetroBeast. You can change uh, video, uh, music background. You can change the main uh, glass effect. Uh, there's a ton if you have a LED blink key or a pixel K to turn it on. Uh, so many options. The main for the gun to change the main layout and stuff like that. You have all the shortcuts for uh, when I'm talking about shortcuts. They are there to update. All the shortcuts when you update. All the shortcuts for the tools. Light gun shortcut. Emulator shortcut. 
if you want to change something of the inventory, you don't need to search the beast. Everything is set there, well placed. Also, you have the wiki, all control. If you want to use any uh, PS5, uh, PS5 controller or anything, everything is explained here. For extra, uh, the fix, fix section, a bunch of fix if you have problem with your PC. So uh, yeah, it's gonna open a folder with everything you need about Retro Beast. Uh, entertainment is on the O drive. Let's boot it. Yeah, long time ago I removed uh, everything that is not pure gaming. People didn't like it on the D drive, so I remove it and I create a whole drive. People say, uh, oh, I don't care about, you know, a movie, TV show, uh, homemade, fine. Don't buy the old drive, that's it. <laughs> uh, Cody, stream uh, stuff, uh, some music, some magazine. Really, really cool. It's like the manual, but the magazine. So same thing. You have all the magazine from Nintendo. PS1, it's, the, it's a game because um, it's a CD version. All right, let's move out. Yeah, a ton of magazine if you like it. Comic book, really big, very special. A ton of comic book and I have more to add in the future. <coughs> a ton of comic book, guys. Doesn't make sense. Uh, I can control the PDF from the Xbox and you can quit from the Xbox. So like I said, there is a ton of comic book on the O drive. And there is still more to come. All right. Yeah, a ton. Vintage commercial or video. You can watch it like this or you click on it and it will boot with your autoplay window. Uh, whatever the video player you choose from your window. If it doesn't work, you need to change uh, MP4. Uh, what, uh, what's what's going to run MP4 files on your window? That's it. That's the entertainment. Looks small, but uh, there's a ton of stuff. All right, let's quit it. Came back to D drive with movies. M part is on the O drive. M part is on the O drive. So anything from Japan, Europe, it's on the O drive. So PS2 M part, PS1 M part, a translated version. So everything you see now are the M port version. The BBC microcomputer system is a world leader. And M port system. Like this one is translated from Japanese to English. Really cool. Game Boy Japan, GameCube Japan. <coughs> PS2 Japan, PS3 Japan, PSP Japan. This is all the console uh, that was made for Japanese. And Mega Drive is the uh, Europe. If you live in Europe, this is, this is not import, but that's the way it is. Uh, Mega Drive, but Japan. Saturn Japan. If I click on it, see all the Japanese uh, version. All separated from the D drive. On the, oh, see, that's the Switch. Switch, but uh, Japanese version. But Japanese version are, are unique to Japanese, you know. Some games are just released in Japan, so uh, we Japan. Xbox, very rare. Xbox, uh, Japan. So when I say my retro beast, it's really complete. It's because of all of those goodies I'm showing you. That's it guys, we finished. And main, we did all the wheels and goodies. Um, let's quit it. Ah, the video was there. It didn't pop, yeah, I didn't choose the, I choose the wrong, uh, it's the old uh, <laughs> window media player. I need to go uh, 
uh, you can set uh, on your window when you play a video which player and now the most I don't remember the name Go Goovy Groovy something like that yeah so we come see my Xbox is plugged if I press the button you will have four Xbox oh my god how big can I put it let me let me move it that's my Xbox number one when I press the button so you can check your Xbox if everything works now it doesn't show the battery because I'm plug I'm not plug warrior yeah sometimes when you use a, and I suggest when you use a Xbox if you have problem buy a Microsoft official dongle for some because on some um, Intel Bluetooth, it will create if I boot uh, Joy2Key. Because if you plug your Xbox Bluetooth, it, it might work very well. The problem I'm going to show you is that, see, I have one controller plug. But if I press the input, see, I have two controller the Bluetooth create a ghost. It's called a ghost controller. In my case, it doesn't uh, do some problem, but for some people, it would create some problem. So if you have, if you boot Joy to Key, uh, by to boot Joy to Key, it's easy. You just boot Retro Beast, and Joy to Key would boot automatically. Just press uh, Home and you will see a controller, you click it, and if you see, if you have problem with game, like you cannot control it will be, so you're not number one controller in some game, it's because the, the Bluetooth create a second player controller. So in that case, you buy the Microsoft dongle. But in my case, it doesn't uh, give me problem, this Bluetooth, uh, because I have a special dongle for Bluetooth, anyway. That's it guys, and also I'm talking about controller. RetroBees, uh, if you, I don't have it, it's a dongle. If you want to play with your PS5, any wire or Bluetooth controller, I have the link on my Discord. You buy the MiFlash mini dongle, and what's gonna happen is you take like uh, your PS5 controller, you plug it, two seconds in the dongle, but you plug the dongle in your PC and there is another USB on the dongle. You plug your PS5 in it, it will pair and it, what it's gonna do, it will turn your PS5 to a Xbox. So almost any control, cr controller you have at home, you can turn it as a Xbox because RetroBeast need a Xbox to work. So the good news is you can Play with your PS5, PS4, PS2, PS3, name it, uh, on the Beast. Okay? That's really cool. It's called the Miflash uh, Magic Dongle. Uh, also, you can play with a steering wheel. Uh, most games are set to play with the steering wheel. You can play with a remote for the Wii game. Uh, light gun, I support any light gun just not the uh, Sendon. Uh, what else? I oh, see that's my uh, my special uh, PS... something good. My special blue uh, PS5. I use it on the Beast. There is other technique. There is application that's gonna turn your PS5 as a, a Xbox also. It's called DSX or DS5 or D DS4. There is software solution. Uh, I try to uh, just uh, tell you which control. Ah, oh, 8-bit do works on the Beast uh, Bluetooth. 8-bit do as an X input. Uh, yeah, just go on Discord. I have a bunch of information. So any uh, arcade X input controller, there is uh, some solution to fix some controller. Like I said, uh, by software or hardware to turn your, uh, almost any controller to X input. In 2024, there is a ton of solution. Like uh, you see, RetroBeast is running really great. All emulators are optimized. We're working every month on updating all the emulator, all the 200, 300 application and emulator. 
Uh, some emulator, I cannot update them because there is no more update. But usually uh, for Switch, PS3, PS2, all those emulators, I update them. Um, what else I didn't talk about? That's it. There is, uh, I count them uh, a few months ago. I have 100, 100,000 uh, games. There is no duplicated. Of course, you will find the same version. Uh, uh, I don't know, Family Adams on Super NES. And there is Family Adam on the, the Genesis, but it's not count as a duplicate. But there is no duplicate uh, game on any system. <coughs> they are all unique. Uh, yeah, I really like my Retro Beast because we really work hard to make it uh, almost perfect. And for what you see, no one, no bill on earth match the Retro Beast. Because it's so complete, it's the best of the best. Yes, sir, my Tom. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, I don't know how long is the, the video, but compared to my 15 hours video I did uh, two, three years ago, uh, I will do more uh, gameplay showcase. I do some live. We do some uh, parsec party sometime. Uh, I will show uh, the beast in action. But I'm not shy because I know every system works, every game works. And also what's the best is if I found a game that doesn't work, like uh, last week, we found that uh, Mario Kart 8 on the Switch works great, okay? But when you play uh, two, three, four player, when you choose your character, it, it does, it did freeze. I say, what's happening? The game never freeze before. And I did research, did some research, and we find that, you know, when on Mario Kart, you need to press uh, R and L to boot the game at the main screen. But if you want, it works fine when you have one Xbox, but we find that when we hook for Xbox, when you press the R and L, you need to press the R and L on the four controller. <laughs> okay, it, it's a bug on the emulator. So you press R and L on the four controller, not the first one. And after you can uh, drag the menu with the controller one and everyone and we were able to choose the character. Sometimes it's just a, it's a emulator bug or a game bug and I always find the fix. I want to make sure all the game works perfectly and the most popular one because I know like Mario Kart if it doesn't work uh, that's a big problem everybody play it you know but uh, so far so good. We always optimize sometimes I change emulator for better Sometimes I have 150 emulator uh, working on the background, but technically I have 250 emulator as a backup. I have 100 emulator as a backup. So if something happens, if one, emulate, uh, one system is running on RetroArch and they release a better version, uh, let's say uh, on a standalone emulator, I will change it. So that's good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Retro Beast is the best. You have free update, free shipping. Free shipping, free update, free shipping, free support from Discord. Uh, and you have the best of the best. If you compare my drive to any other drive uh, on the market, it's the best, guaranteed. You will have the best performance for your uh, PC. It works on Windows 10. It works on uh, Windows 11. And yes, you need a PC to run my drive. Never ask me again if you can plug my drive on a TV. It doesn't work. You need a freaking PC. And by the way, I have PC ready. I have the, uh, I think, uh, two PC. I have a... a NZXT uh, red and black PC all set up 
uh, you can buy the 96 terabyte or the 112 terabyte. It's all preset, you plug it, you play it, you come with a Wii, Xbox, everything is plug and play. And I have the big mama, the big uh, Evolve X with the latest uh, RTX 4090, the latest CPU and the latest motherboard, the best of the best, the Thermal la creme. Uh, this one is expensive, but if you have the money and you want to play all the PC game and the latest uh, PS3 and Xbox and Switch on high resolution, that's the PC you want. And also, when you buy my retro bees and you plug the retro bees, you can still keep your Steam account, your Steam, uh, you, you can still play your Steam. Uh, you update your window. It does, RetroBeast doesn't touch your actual PC setup. It's a separate uh, launcher with game. You can still have your own PC setup, uh, Steam game. Uh, you can play your uh, Fortnite on Steam Online. Uh, and talking about online, all the PC game cannot be on my uh, drive, cannot be played online. All right? The uh, online that works. Uh, I did explain on the online here. Okay, if you want to play online, you need to buy the game from Steam and play with the regular online. The only exception is the uh, the Call of Duty, Plutonium, and this one, and Mame, and all this. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That's enough. Big video. Showing up the Ritual Beast 112 uh, terabyte. See you on the next video, guys.